supposed to be. I'm Vengeance. Welcome once again to a new edition of Mustbus TV where we bring you news, reviews, and interviews of St. Lucian artists, both local and abroad. And today in the news... Yeah, St. Lucia, big up your damn self and the rest of the world, Caribbean, anywhere you there. Yeah, man. Welcome to Must Buzz TV. On this edition, we have another movie review. Our first movie review, we spoke about Black Adam. And today, we're going to speak about the Batman. Mm-hmm. Not Batman Returns. Not Batman vs. Joker. The Batman. That is the last one they made. Now, I sat down and I went for that movie there thoroughly and I must say that was a damn good movie yeah man a real good movie that movie showed you the pain of Batman it revealed the psychological trauma that Batman is going through you know and I've heard it in the comics but to see it being portrayed in real life in a movie it was something else it was amazing the hurt the pain in this young man from losing his parents from a, from a younger age and him trying to make it right. Him trying to find out to make it right and feel that he's not doing enough. And like, he's just lost. He don't know what to do. And the action, you could tell that this was a young Batman. This Batman was a little immature in the way he was doing things because he wasn't really there yet to say his fighting skills were not maximum. His equipment wasn't the, 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 the top equipment like we always accustomed to seeing Batman having. Even the motorcycle, all those things. That was just a raw, raw, raw version of Batman. A raw version of Batman. And it was just amazing, the atmosphere of the movie. And what I liked too, that Matt, that Matt Reeves did, the director of the movie, that he he brought the, a bit of the old version of Batman and the new age into it. Because you could see the movie look like an old school movie. But then, then they have cell phones, they have internet, etc. etc. Little things like that. They, they added little things in it to make it look modern. But they kept a lot of the old style of Batman. And that was, boy, yo, that, uh, yes, see, yeah. that was nice. That was nice. The cast was lovely too. They did do a damn good job. Robert Pattinson as Batman. Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle, who, who was better known as Catwoman. We had Paul Dano as Riddler. Colin Farrell as the Penguin. Jeffrey White, James Gordon. Andy Serkis as Alfred. And George Toretto as Carmen Falco. And to me, I wanted, the only thing, eh, the only flaw I, 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 I could say I saw in that movie was with the mayor, that's Jamie Lawson who played Bella Real. Um, she got shot on her side, but at the ending, when, when Batman went to save everybody, they showed her again and it was like she was moving around, like nothing was wrong with her, like she never got shot. Yeah, I don't know if she, if she forgot to act it out or something, but it just didn't happen and that alone caught my attention. Yeah, I said, nah, that part is too good. But besides that, that movie was really, really awesome. It showed you outside of, but I, I must say, I must say, I must say. The boss have his armored suit. And the boss taking a kind of licks in that, kind of shots in that. And all the bruises, yo, yo, yo. That, that movie, that movie was just wonderful, I must say. I must say, I enjoyed watching that, that movie. And I could watch it again. Yeah, man. And I recommend this one for you. This is Mazbus TV. Send for it. Keep it trending. And we're out. <laughs>